it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can find your own vegan cleaning supplies and give you guys a few recipes for non-toxic and budget-friendly solutions so you can easily make your own at home. This video is part of my vegan starter kit series which I've been filming over the last few months. Each video covers a different topic that I commonly get asked about people who are curious about going vegan or need some help transitioning to a vegan lifestyle. So if you guys want to check that out I've already posted videos on how to go vegan how to order vegan at restaurants, how to encourage your family and friends to support your decision to go vegan, etc. So if you have any other video suggestions, also please let me know those in the comments below because I would be happy to film them for you guys. This video is also sponsored by iHerb, which is an online website stocked full of products for any healthy lifestyle, whether it range from food, toiletries, or in this case, cleaning supplies. The good thing about iHerb is that they also ship to over 160 different countries. So even if you don't live in the United States, you can still order from them, which is awesome. And I'm going to have all of the products that I got from iHerb linked in the description of this video, plus a little discount code for you guys. So be sure to check that out if you're curious in getting some. So because veganism is a lifestyle, not just a diet, vegan principles apply to things beyond what we just put on our plates. and. Realistically, a lot of cleaning supplies don't necessarily contain animal products, but the majority of them are tested on animals, so you have to be really careful about what you're purchasing as vegan because you don't want to further contribute to animal testing and animal cruelty. Luckily, iHerb takes most of the guesswork out of finding vegan products because they have a super duper handy search option in which you can refine your search just by clicking the vegan button and then only vegan products will be displayed. So this takes a ton of the guesswork and uncertainty about finding vegan cleaning supplies. But in case you guys need further help with discerning whether something is vegan or not, I will also link a helpful blog post in the description of this video. So in addition to only purchasing vegan cleaning supplies, I personally also only tried to purchase non-toxic cleaning supplies as well. And this is because even though you're not eating your cleaning supplies, your skin is your largest organ. And if you're using these products that are full of chemicals and other questionable things on the surfaces of your home, Think about all the things you touch on a daily basis. Even if you just walk around with bare feet, or you're touching your counters, or even sitting on your toilet seat, it can all start to add up really, really fast, and you can still absorb these cleaning products through your skin, just through contact. So here are all of the cleaning supplies that I got from iHerb, and in this little box, I have pretty much everything that I need to clean my home in a safe and a non-toxic manner. So I'm gonna go through that really quickly. So I did buy one pre-packaged cleaning supply, which is this dish soap from Myers. I really love this company. Everything they produce is really high quality, and I love their scents. This one is the lemon verbena scent, but they also have a lavender one, which is really, really awesome. And for me, it's just easier to buy my own dish soap versus making my own, so I was happy that iHerb had this option. So the rest of the products that I got from iHerb are actually all of the ingredients that you'll need to make your own non-toxic cleaning supplies. So you'll need some baking soda. I got this one from Bob's Red Mill because I really trust this brand. I also got a bottle of Castile soap. This one is tea tree scented. And then finally, I got a few of my favorite essential oils. You don't need to get three different ones, but I wanted to show you different ways in which you could use each of these. So on top of this, the only other product you will need to have is distilled white vinegar. This isn't water, I promise. And Vinegar is super, super cheap, especially distilled white vinegar. You can get it at practically any grocery store and it is so, so affordable. So you really don't have to worry about this. And then the other thing that you'll need are some glass jars, maybe spray bottles in order to store your cleaning solutions in. So now I'm going to show you guys four different recipes for non-toxic cleaning solutions that you can use in your house. And I personally use all of these in my own apartment and I love them and they work really well for me. So I'm excited to share them with you guys. First, I'm going to start with the cleaning solution that I use most commonly, which would just be for any general surface. I use this pretty much on every surface in my house. I use it on my countertops, on my toilet seat, in my shower, for mirrors, and to clean off my desk or my laptop as well. It's kind of just a general multi-purpose spray. To make this cleaner, all you need to do is combine equal parts of filtered water and distilled vinegar into a bottle. I'm not gonna lie though, this kind of smells weird, so I always like to add a few drops of an essential oil because this masks the smell of the vinegar and then after the vinegar evaporates, it leaves a nice scent in the room as well. 
I chose to get these are Cassia oils from iHerb because I really trust the quality of this brand, but I also chose specifically to get tea tree, peppermint, and rosemary essential oils because of their specific properties. Tea tree oil helps to fight germs, bacteria, and viruses. Rosemary oil has antibacterial and antiseptic properties, and peppermint oil is antibacterial as well. So I decided to mix a little bit of rosemary oil and peppermint oil into this cleaning solution because I really like the combination of their scents together. You can also make your own natural disinfectant spray to help kill germs and ward off sickness, and this one is also super simple. All you have to do is combine one cup of water, one and a half tablespoons of Castile soap, and 10 to 15 drops of tea tree oil. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard of Castile soap before, but there are a million different ways to use it. I personally also use this in the shower as a body wash, so I always have some on hand, and I think it's a great staple to have in your cleaning repertoire, if you will. And I loved this one because it's already tea tree scented with some tea tree essential oil, so we're giving our disinfectant spray an extra little kick. And since we're on the topic of Castile soap, I wanted to show you guys another method to use this. So you can dilute it to actually make your own hand soap. All you need to do for this is to fill a foamable soap dispenser up about one-fifth of the way with Castile soap. Then you just top the rest off with some filtered water, mix it all up, and you're good to go. And this is a not-so-fun fact, but actually most soaps are not vegan. They're one of the cleaning supplies that actually includes animal products. A lot of soaps contain animal glycerin in them, which is derived from animal fat or lard, and that is definitely not vegan or cruelty-free, but luckily Castile soap uses vegetable oil. Oils. So for example, this one uses coconut, hemp, and olive oils in order to create the soap. Finally, a stinky home is pretty much not a clean home, so I wanted to show you guys a cool little DIY air freshener that you can use to freshen up a closet or a room in your house. For this recipe, you'll need a mason jar or a jar with a removable lid, baking soda, and an essential oil of your choosing. All you have to do is fill the jar one-fourth of the way up with baking soda, then add in around five drops of essential oil and stir well. I decided to use peppermint in this one. And instead of sealing the jar shut, obviously that would be counterproductive, you can create an air diffuser by poking some holes in a piece of cardstock and then using this instead for the lid. Then all you have to do is just place the jar in whatever area you would like to freshen up and you're all set. And that is it for all of my non-toxic DIY and vegan cleaning tips. If you guys want to make some of these products for yourselves, don't forget that I have all of the iHerb links in the description of this video so you can go directly to their page on the product website and it'll make your life a whole lot easier. Also, if you guys have any of your own DIY non-toxic cleaning solutions that you like to use that I didn't mention in this video, definitely let me know in the comments below because I would love to check them out. I also just think it's so fascinating how making your own cleaning supplies is super, super easy, but it's also great for the environment and it's so much more cost effective than having to go out and buy a bunch of different products for each surface, you know? Like you can mix and match all of these ingredients and pretty much clean any surface in your house. Finally, if you are new to my channel, be sure to click that little subscribe button right down there. I post two new videos every single week, so don't wanna miss out on all of the fun. And thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, whatever time of day it is for you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.